the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. This is It All Began in the 70s, episode 10 for Sunday, November 14th, 2021, Astro World. So I want to start by saying that uh, this is going to cover some spiritual matters, some things that I've seen uh, watching various commentaries, coverage, and raw footage of this event. But back a little further, um, Astroworld, as a child, we would take trips to Astroworld from Louisiana. We had a converted uh, camper van. It was a converted from a a van into a small camper that we would take on these trips. And I have very fond memories of Astroworld, which has been, I guess, defunct for quite a while. That's not what this is about. This is about the Travis Scott disaster that occurred last weekend. So this is not the first time in history that this sort of thing has happened. Unfortunately, you know, people being crushed in the crowds and stuff. But there's something far more sinister to this. And... uh, you know, I would I wouldn't even be bringing it up if I didn't see some things there that uh, I've never seen before. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty well read in the news as far as the current events and things, and I look at all sides of everything, not just my own viewpoint, the pros, the cons, and everything in between to try to get to the truth of it. And um, I see something terrible here, and you know, I'm not going to go into conspiracy theories and all that, but just. Um, the the nature of what took place there um, and the fact that you had uh, eight people die almost immediately. It's now up to nine, one in the hospital that died, uh, and it, uh, there's more still in the hospital. Um, this didn't look like a, uh, and, and the heart attack aspect of it, a lot of people in cardiac arrest, it, this doesn't look like a crowd crush situation that killed those eight people. Something else uh, is going on here. So, uh, look, I won't make any apologies for this. Um, you know, I do believe a hundred percent that there's a, a world we don't see. Um, if you study the music business at all, I mean, just go to YouTube or any of your sources, um, that you, you believe are telling the truth or that you enjoy watching or whatever. And, and just look at the history of the music industry and, and look at what they have to say about these things. I know from plenty of personal experiences in my life, which I can, I'll can i get into in more detail over time, that uh, there's stuff going on that we don't see. Um, what is remarkable about this particular, I would just flat out call it a, a demonic event, um, very, very demonic event, and something I'm not sure what exactly was unleashed there, whether it was um, somebody going around poking people with... Uh, fatal drugs or uh, something beyond that. There's even some speculation or some stories, rather, that um, a few people saw things in, you know, hovering above the the crowd, not not the stage, uh, you know, not the set, but the actually hovering above the crowd. It's just really, really creepy stories and, and things. And while, you know, there have been bands that lean dark for a long time. I mean, it's been around since I was a kid and really before that. Um, I have never seen anything quite like this. And it's, uh, it's really, in my view, it's, uh, it's, it's an indication of, of the, the depravity that exists in the culture. I mean, just the fact that you can pull in 50,000, roughly fi- at least 50,000, it's actually, I think, more than 50,000 people uh, know you know, acting as if the pandemic is over, no social distancing and all that. And while I think that's kind of gotten taken too far the other side, I, it's extremely reckless uh, at minimum, I would say, to to do this. So there's that part. Um, not smart to accumulate 50,000 people in a space like this, one. And then two, just, just something really, really dark and, and terrible about what took place in this concert. So why am I bringing this up in this series? Well, this series is um, to get off the main track of ASM and talk a bit about my history and what I've seen the last 50 years of my life. And, you know, I do totally believe that my purpose here is um, being fulfilled in in bringing ASM to light and bringing sports investing uh, to light to bring uh, new opportunity jobs and to suppress uh, gambling, which is harmful. 
it's dangerous to people, and, and that's been known for a very long time. And there's a very, very large spiritual contingent to that. So I'm sensitive to these things. It's not like I go around all day long looking at everything and you know calling everything spiritual all the time. And that's I, I know people that do that, and that's pretty fake and ridiculous, and I don't believe it. But when I'm taken aback by something and it draws my focus to the degree that this particular event has, I usually need to pay attention because there's something there. So um, that's all I wanted to say. I do think this Astro World thing is a, it's a very sad uh, tale. And on top of that, it's even more, um, more than that, it's it's a very dark marker um, for where society is. And we really are... are incredibly uh, gone very, very far down the wrong track uh, as far as uh, our, our morality and, and what we believe is right and wrong. And just just the mere fact that this character could draw 50,000 people in the current condition of things um, is just, it's, it's really sad, honestly, uh, more than anything else. So thank you for your time. Have a uh, good weekend, and I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.